hello viewers it's good to have you watching this video titled ratios a ratio gives the relationship between two groups of things or people that is represented by two numbers showing how much larger one group is than the other for instance if we have some men and women in a hall and the ratio of the men to women in the hall is 4 is to 2 that means that the number of men in the hall is two times as much as the number of women in the hall. So the ratio will be 4 is to 2. And 4 is to 2 in the lowest term is 2 is to 1. Now, let's solve some examples on ratios. Example 1. The table below shows the number of colored shirts worn at Mark's wedding ceremony. You can see the table here. There are two rows on the table. The first row is for the shirt color, while the second row is for the number of persons. For color green, there are three persons wearing green colored shirts. And for pink, we have 27 persons wearing pink shirts. And there are 49 persons wearing white shirts. 81 persons wearing red shirts, 18 persons wearing yellow shirts, and 7 persons wearing purple shirts. Now let's answer the following questions. What is the ratio of the following colors? A. White to purple. B. Pink to red. C. Yellow to red. Okay, let's solve now. The first part is to find the ratio of white to purple. There are 49 persons wearing white shirts and 7 persons wearing purple shirts. So the ratio will be 49 is to 7. And we, and we can write it in fraction as 49 all over 7. And if we divide 49 by 7, we will get 7. And 7 divided by 7 is 1. So 49 over 7 is equal to 7 over 1. And that means that the ratio of white to purple is 7 is to 1. The second part is to find the ratio of pink to red. How many people are wearing pink shirts? If you look at the table you see the number 27 and the number of persons wearing red shirts is 81 so the ratio will be 27 is to 81 and in fraction form we will have it as 27 over 81 which is equal to 1 all over 3 so the ratio of pink to red is 1 is to 3. The third part is to find the ratio of yellow to red. From the table, 18 persons are wearing yellow shirts, while 81 persons are wearing red shirts. So the ratio of yellow to red is 18 is to 81. 18 is to 81 can be written in fraction as 18 over 81. If you look at these two numbers, 18 and 81, you will see that 9 can divide through both numbers. 18 divided by 9 is 2, while... 81 divided by 9 is 9. So 18 over 81 is equal to 2 over 9. This implies that the ratio of yellow to red is 2 is to 9. Now let's go to example 2. In a moving train, there are 16 men and 12 women. What is the ratio of one men to women two women to men three people to women solution 
Number one is to find the ratio of men to women. We are told that there are 16 men and 12 women. So that means that the ratio of men to women is 16 is to 12. This ratio can be expressed in fraction as 16 over 12. And if you divide 16 and 12 by 4, you will get 4 over 3. So, this implies that the ratio of men to women is 4 is to 3. The second one is to find the ratio of women to men. There are 12 women and 16 men, so the ratio will be 12 is to 16, and it is expressed as 12 over 16. 12 over 16 is the same as 3 over 4. So the ratio of women to men is equal to 3 is to 4. The third part is to find the ratio of people to women. Now, let me ask this question. How many people are on the train? Let's see. We are told that there are 16 men and 12 women. If we add these two numbers, we will get 16 plus 12 equal to 28. So, there are 28 people on the train. Then that means the ratio of people to women is 28 is to 12. If we express this as a fraction, we will have 28 over 12, which when divided by 4 gives 7 over 3. So the ratio of people to women is 7 is to 3. Now let's move on to the third example. Mrs. Williams bought 150 mangoes and gave it to her three sons, James, Charles, and Victor, to share in the ratio of 10 is to 5 is to 15. Find the number of mangoes each gets. Solution. The total number of ratio is 10 plus 5 plus 15. That is equal to 30. And the total number of mangoes is equal to 150. Now, we are going to calculate the number of mangoes that each of the three sons will get. For James, he's going to have 10 over 30 of the total number of mangoes. That is 10 over 30 multiplied by 150, which is the total number of mangoes. That gives us 50 mangoes so james will have 50 mangoes for charles he's going to get 5 over 30 of the total number of mangoes that is 5 over 30 multiplied by 150 which is the number of mangoes and that will be 25 mangoes charles gets 25 mangoes now how many mangoes will victor get Victor will get 15 over 30 of the total number of mangoes. That is 15 over 30 multiplied by 150, which is the number of mangoes. So Victor gets 75 mangoes. Do you know that you can check whether you're correct or not? Now let's see how you will do that. If you add the number of mangoes that James, Charles, and Victor have, you should get what? 150 because the total number of mangoes is 150. So that is 50 plus 25 plus 75 mangoes is equal to what? 150 mangoes. You see, we are correct. Now we have come to the end of this video. I'm glad that you were with me to the end of the video. If this video has been helpful to you, please don't forget to like and share. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.